in the realm of survival horror, few titles cast a long shadow as Silent Hill 2. With its recent remake, we're invited back into a world steeped in psychological terror and existential dread. This isn't just about the scares, it's about confronting the thing that we bury deep inside ourselves. As the folk roll scene, it brings with it an atmosphere that feels hauntingly familiar, yet refreshingly new. If you're ready for a journey that tests your nerves and your understanding of humanity, then let's delve into what this remake has to offer. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Oh, God. Silent Hill. Hey. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. Let's talk about the fog. In the original, it cleverly disguised technical limitations. Here, it serves a different purpose, crafting an atmosphere that is both inviting and foreboding. This fog envelops the town, allowing just enough visibility to keep you on edge, constantly questioning what lurks beyond. The colors, perfectly desiderated to evoke a sense of nostalgia while remaining fresh. The developers didn't just replicate, they understood the essence of Silent Hill and paid a homage to it. I'm sorry, I, I was just... Hey, it's okay, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah, I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. As for visual effects, there are options in the menu that allow for more pixelation or more desaturation, which I appreciate. But overall, the game looks stunning. Yes, there are some stuttering issues coming in Unreal Engine 5 games, but I trust future updates will iron those out. Now, James Sunderland. The new voice actor has truly made this character his own. There's a depth to his performance that resonates. Even as the other characters may not quite reach the same level, they each tell their story, keeping the unsettling atmosphere alive. The psychological depth is what this game nails. It dives into the messy, complex nature of trauma and guilt. The pacing allows for introspection, making the revelations hit hard. Each playthrough reveals new details, drawing you deeper into the story. When it comes to pacing, this game is a masterclass. It's a slow burn that builds into frantic encounters. It's not just about speed, it's about crafting an experience that evokes genuine tension. The over-the-shoulder camera might feel modern, but it doesn't detract from the original's haunting vibe. It enhances it.
the new dodging mechanic a necessary addition. It keeps you feeling vulnerable without turning the game into a mindless sprint. You're still on edge with every corner you turn. The puzzles are woven into the narrative seamlessly. They're straightforward, yet engaging, offering just the right amount of guidance. You'll find yourself lost in the labyrinthine corridors, piecing the story together as you go. Now the soundtrack. It's an impressive reinterpretation of the original, striking a balance between nostalgia and innovation. It draws you in without overwhelming you. But it's the silence that really amplifies the tension. There are no necessary noises here. The absence of sound can be just as impactful as what you hear. A creak, a whisper, or even a sudden noise can still chills down your spine. The audio design elevates the horror experience to a level many games struggle to achieve. What is that? Oh my god! So, should you pick this up? Absolutely! Whether you're a newcomer or a longtime fan, this remake is a captivating journey into the heart of psychological horror. Yes, the themes are dark, but that's what makes it so compelling. If you find yourself hesitant to experience it alone, I invite you to watch my complete playthrough here on YouTube. Together, we can navigate the fog. This whole town. There's something wrong with it. Might be best if you just get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you want to come with? Maybe together we can find a way out of this town. Oh, sorry, but I can't leave. Not yet. I... I need to find someone. Oh. And uh, Eddie, be careful. Yeah, you too. Purchasing this game was a birthday gift to myself, and one I can wholeheartedly recommend. Silent Hill 2 has returned and it's as hunting as ever. Like, subscribe, comment, it helps. Check out my Ko-Fi if you would like to buy me a cup of coffee. Thank you, and until next time. Ciao chums. <laughs>